Anthony Slater here with Eric Horn inside the peak tonight a Thunder blowout 112 79 over the Lakers sounds like maybe one of the more unmemorable games of the season as far as blowout goes but if you were here tonight you know it was one of the more memorable nights yeah definitely a lot more memorable memorable than some of the other Laker games we've seen here this year uh, Kobe Bryant's last road game uh, the Thunder crowd paid him a fine tribute with a with some some chants, some Kobe chants. Eight and 24 Lakers jerseys and lower Marion throwbacks just everywhere. Uh, you know, probably more than when Steph Curry and the Warriors came in earlier this yeah. year. And that was the most I'd ever seen when Curry came in. So, you know, they really flooded, I'm assuming from everywhere in the Midwest here tonight. Paid homage to him. Kevin Durant called the response from the Thunder fans classy. Uh, and then Kobe went vintage first quarter and he, you know, he threw up 10 of the Lakers, 19 shots, scored 13 points, threw up eight threes, got a he pumped uh, Durant yeah. at one point and got a foul. Uh, kind of really played his heart out, I guess, or you know, the, the, he spent his knees up and his shoulder <laughs> up in that first quarter. Only plays, I think, seven more minutes the rest of the game. Doesn't score, uh, but you know, like I said, nice send off for him, and, and he was good post game talking about it too. Yeah, yeah, really classy by him in post game to sit down and, uh, and come into the, the the main media room where where Billy Donovan usually conducts his pregame and post game and sit down and and do more than I guess about eight minutes with, yeah, with the media. Uh, tons of media there, international media as well. They were asking him questions in Spanish. He was answering in Spanish, and um, I mean, we tried to get him to answer one in English because he was asked about <laughs> Westbrook to the Lakers, but yeah, but uh, not but, biting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see with that. But, um, Kobe was very accommodating tonight. Yeah. Um, uh, he'll have his final uh, home game, I guess, in a couple Wednesday. of days. That's yeah. going to be cool. I mean, we're not going to be there, but that's going to be cool. Um, tonight, oh, you know, Westbrook and Durant pregame. They, the Thunder had all their players write, like, handwritten notes to Kobe, put it in a book, and then pregame, Westbrook and Durant met him in a private room, gave him the book, presented it to him. And then during the game, so they're sending off a Laker legend, then during the game, Westbrook passes one Laker legend, Magic Johnson, in the record books by with his 18th triple double. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the season is the most, or it's more than Magic Johnson 25 years ago who held that like record. Uh, and then Kevin Durant coincidentally gets his 64 straight 20 plus point game today, which passes Kobe Bryant, who did it in 2006 for the most since MJ in '91. So just kind of a lot of things combining tonight, and it just like it was just like another reinforcement that you had three future Hall of Famers in front of you doing future Hall of Famer type things. Yeah, and, and, and Kobe, again, I think he said it best after the game where he said, I mean, if, if this wasn't a Steph Curry historic season, Russell Westbrook would be right there as maybe the front runner for the MVP award. I mean, he, he passed Magic for the most triple doubles in, in 25 seasons. He tied Magic for the most triple doubles in 40 seasons, and, and he did it. He, he got his triple double in, in just a half of 17 minutes yeah. and change. I mean, we've seen Russell Westbrook get close to doing that this year, but he did it this uh, again. I mean, he did it tonight and it was just remarkable. Thunder finished their regular season uh, tomorrow night in San Antonio. I don't expect them to play many of their guys. I may not even travel them. Who knows at this point. Um, then playoffs come this weekend. Uh, so I mean a lot of interesting content from us to come and you know everything is now moving forward but before we get there I thought tonight was cool. So uh, you know send you off you know we got Billy Donovan Kevin Durant Russell Westbrook and we either have Kobe's eight minute video in the end of this video or it might be in another video on our website you can check uh, it out. You know, historic things that happened tonight, you know, with uh, being Kobe's last game here and then, you know, Kevin continuing on his streak, um, you know, Russell getting another triple-double. Um, I thought we, as a group, played, played pretty well on both ends of the floor. Um, I didn't think we shot the ball great probably for, through the first quarter and a half, but um, I thought our ball movement was really good. I thought we were unselfish. I thought we generated really, really good shots. I thought in the front court, the rim protection by Steven Adams and by Serge was really, really great. It was great to see Sir, uh, excuse me, um, Steven rebound the ball the way he did. Um, but overall, I thought it was a complete game for us. I thought we played it, uh, played well on both ends. Kobe's okay, last game, it's a big storyline. Just what was this night like for you? Oh, it was special. It was special. You know, to get the opportunity to play against Kobe in his last road game. Our fans did, did their job by coming out and showing a major love. I know we competed against him so many times two playoff series against these guys. Um, coming in here as one of the most hated players. Um, they showed a lot of class tonight. You know, that's what we expect our fans to do. And uh, he came out and played well for them. How surprised for you to hear the crowd actually cheering for him and call, calling his name? Oh, not surprised. It's been like that all season with places that I didn't think he would get cheers. And uh, he deserves it. You know, a pioneer, in my opinion, um, for players you know, on the wing. Um, you know, one of the guys that, that, that kind of set the standard um, for the two and three position. And, uh, 
you know, it was, uh, it was a legend. So, you know, they did their job tonight, man. They did it well. I just want to ask you about a couple moments. First, pregame, you guys presented him with a book. Just how special was that? Uh, yeah, just uh, I know he got so many gifts this year. I know this whole um, farewell tour, he didn't really ask for it. But, you know, that shows what type of player and, and person he was, a basketball figure that everybody, you know, pulled out all the stops. And I think for us, it was just, you know, kind of subtle to get him something. Um, you know, that was, uh, that's a little different. A book, you know, I heard he got skis. I heard he got a lifetime supply of Jordans, you know, all that stuff. But, uh, you know, I just think with uh, all our guys wrote uh, a little small message in their form, and uh, hopefully he, uh, he appreciates it. You want to share your message? Uh, I'm excited the whole year. Uh, just how much um, he changed the game for me. Uh, once I got into the league, easily became, my, you know, my favorite player. You know, he kind of, as a fan and as a, you know, fan of the game, you don't really appreciate you know, somewhere like that, because all you hear is the hate and, um, you know, what he's done bad. But once you get to the league, you can appreciate, you know, a player that uh, brings it every single night, back-to-backs, uh, 82 game seasons, playoffs, brings it every single night. That level of intensity and the level of skill, you can appreciate it. So once I got to the league, you know, my level of respect just raised up, you know, 10 notches from my was playing against him and then watching him work. He got Everybody you one was... last time kind of with that pump fake and give you a smile. Uh, just that was that. I know. Yeah, he got me with that, and then in the third quarter, I, I got him back. <laughs> Kevin, I know this morning you said this 64 straight games of 20 or more is, is what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. On top of that, this season, career highs and rebounds, five assists a game. Can you just kind of put in perspective the way you think you played this season as a whole? Oh, well, you know, um, coach relies on me and my teammates rely on me to do so much. I had to rebound. I had to make plays as a passer. And uh, I think I've, I've grown in those areas, you know, in the last yeah. four three or four years, I'm around five or six a game. And, um, you know, that's the standing I hold myself up to now. So I got to get my teammates involved. I got to make plays um, and scoring the ball is what I've been doing for a long time. But um, just building other parts of my game, I think, uh, you know, is what I try to focus on. And sometimes I overpass. And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, I don't rebound as well. But um, I think my mind is in the right place. So, you know, it was a fun, fun regular season for me. Um, I've got better at, you know, stay healthy. And uh, that was the most important part. Do you expect a rest tomorrow night in San Antonio? Oh, uh, I don't know. That's on Coach Donovan. Uh, Give the message to the crowd and put together this type of performance as a team. Is this the way that you want to finish off your home slate here before uh, the playoffs hit? Uh, definitely, man. I think um, you know, our fans have been great, uh, not just this year, but since I've been here. Um, I think that, like I said, you know, on the court, they're the best fans in all sports. And, uh, you know, we got to get, get ready as a team and be ready to play for them towards the playoffs. Obviously, one of the storylines tonight was Kobe Bryant's last road game. Just what was it like out there? I mean, it's great, man. The atmosphere is great. The fans, you know, all the players, they all respect him. Um, and his legacy, what he's done for the game. Um, and I think it's uh, just a great honor to be able to host this last game. How about two moments? Number one, at the pregame, you guys presented him with a book. And then postgame, it looked like you had a little message. How special were those two moments? Oh, uh, that was very special, especially for me, man, growing up in L.A. Um, a young, young boy watching the Lakers and, and watching him, um, you know, kind of take over the town. And to be here now um, you know, in NBA and being a part of his last game is something special to me. Um, it's a blessing and it's something I never uh, take for granted. What can you tell us about the gift that you guys gave him before the game? Uh, we wanted to do something a little different as a team. And I think, um, you know, I think he appreciated it. We wanted to, to kind of write our own personal messages as, as, a, as individuals. Each player had an opportunity to kind of you know, say what he meant to them and the way he did for the game. And I think um, you know, he appreciated that a little bit. Same night that, that this happens, you know, you also pass Magic Johnson for the club record. Is this a day, you know, 20 years down the road you'll win? Uh, definitely, man. There's, uh, you know, another person from, from Lakers, yeah. Magic Johnson, another another uh, legend, somebody that I, I looked up to, uh, one of my favorite players growing up. And it's definitely a blessing uh, uh, to be able to do that, and uh, it's an honor. So. Kevin, Kevin passed Kobe for now 64 straight games this year with 20 or more points. Can you put in perspective as a guy who scores 20 uh, how, how hard that is to do every single day? It's very time? difficult, man. I mean, obviously, Kevin makes it look very easy from, from outside looking in, but I think uh, you know he's put so much work in to, to put himself in position every game to be prepared to play. Um, and, you know, he does it every night at a high level, and I don't think too many guys can, can, can compete with that. Do you so, looking to break Magic Johnson's record now that you've tied it with the triple doubles? Um, I'm just happy to be to be able to to be in the in the vicinity, to be in a in a conversation with Magic Johnson and, and those guys, and you know, I'm happy we got the win tonight.
Also the fastest triple double you've ever had. I mean, did you have an idea that you were doing it so quickly? Say it again. It's also the fastest triple double you've ever had. Did you have an idea you were doing it so quickly? Uh, I mean, just trying to play, man. Playing the game. Uh, you know, guys make it easy for me to be able to, 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 to rebound and get guys shots. Guys make open shots. And, you know, I'm just thankful to have those guys on my team. It probably wasn't easy to get distracted tonight. What did you like about the way you guys just approached the game, particularly defensively? Uh, I thought we did a good job man, being physical, uh, doing you know, what we do. And, and, and leading ready, getting ready for the playoffs, and better get our minds and bodies right. What will you remember most about your matchups with Kobe? You guys, uh, just how competitive man he is. I think um, 